Well, the store was opened in 1963 by my parents. They started a, it as a music school, and then they expanded into a retail store. And then over the years, they also had branches. So we had stores up in a store in Fort McMurray, Whitehorse, Calgary. Um, later, one of my brothers opened a store in Vancouver, and uh, also we were down in Hollywood, um, San Diego. So, so over the years, we've had many other stores as well but this is kind of the main store and now that we're at 2017 this is the only store that we have so so over the years the branches were sold or or closed or you know we've made lots of changes but this one's still still going it actually started right over in the TD parking lot on 109th Street uh, so it there was a building there and my folks started the music school upstairs in that same building and then eventually they moved on to White Ave and bought the building here and um, we've been here for years and years. So the great thing of this is uh, we have generations of customers that are coming in. With the music school we've got students that are aged from two to, well the youngest we've ever had was two two, three, four, up into like the 80s. I think the oldest we had was 88 or 89. So we have a huge spectrum of students with different ages coming for music lessons. And like I was telling you, different generations that have come or, or maybe then they've come back or their kids or grandkids have come. So, so it's just been great. We've had a, quite a few professional musicians that have um, or students that have gone on to become professional musicians um, over the years and then some have also gone into teaching uh, or teaching it I think um, some of them even have gone on to teaching at uh, Grant McEwen as well so so yeah so we've had a lot of uh, really great students that have come through and also a lot of great customers that have come through the store too because uh, Katie many years ago Katie Lang had bought a guitar strap from us here and then Joe Perry comes into the store uh, anytime that Aerosmith is playing in the city because he loves this store so so he's bought lots of different instruments and checked out all the guitars in our vintage showcase Over the years, we've bought guitars, well, from across Canada, um, different places in the States, and also, at one time, we were importing guitars from Japan as well. This is where you can find things that you can't find anywhere else, because even now that we're in this office, I'll just, this is a, because um, we have a lot of uh, accordions here, but this just came in on repair. It's a Honoret Blow accordion, which, um, the reeds are need to be replaced, but this is from 1907 to 1930 is when these were made. So um, yeah, we get in all kinds of really interesting instruments. Stevie Wonder actually was in the store too, and checking out one of the keyboards we had here at one time because um, he was playing, and so he decided not to get the keyboard, but he bought a harmonica. 